Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In a today's session, I will explain you how to install Microsoft SQL Server 2022 on Windows 10 system. So in this video, I will explain you step by step complete installation guide. So if you like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to the my channel. So we'll start the session. So first of all, uh, I have mentioned all the steps in the one document. Uh, end of the video, I will share you this document with you. So for the installation of the SQL Server 2022, first we need to go to the web browser and we need to type there SQL Server 2022 download. Once you click, then you will get the first Microsoft official website. So you just click on that side. And after that, you will uh, redirect to the Microsoft official website. So uh, here you just scroll below. Once you scroll below, you will get two uh, edition available. First one is the developer and second one is the express. So we to download the developer edition. So I click on that once I download it. It, the downloaded will get start so just downloaded file just run it on administrator uh, mode so it will get the all the permission whatever the required then there is a uh, basically three type of installation basic custom and download media so I want to choose the custom installation so I just select that one so here is a uh, basic thing is that I want the required download media by default in a C drive but if I want to change it to the G drive another drive so I select that particular drive then I click next then uh, the uh, the packages will will get a downloading so it will take more 10 minutes so once all the packages required packages which required for the installation so it will be at least take the some time to download packages successfully then automatically the setup file will open so basically it will the SQL server installation center so there is a multiple options available first we need to click on the new SQL server standalone installation so once click on that so first uh, tab is open so we need to select developer edition then accept the license and terms then click on next then uh, the microsoft update if you want to uh, get the update automatically then you can select that checkbox so after that click on next so uh, this uh, this will select the all the existing required the next step Azure extension for the SQL if you want you can select otherwise you can skip that one then feature selection basically this is the feature selection that required like a database engine service then we have the SQL server replication then if you want to uh, machine learning then you can select that one so after that data quality integration services so uh, what are the other uh, features for this uh, SQL server you can select and uh, in a uh, right side you can also check the required uh, already install uh, whatever the like c++ powershell so uh, whichever the already installed then below is a disk space requirement so you can also check that one once you click the below then you can select the next it will take some few seconds after that instance configuration so basically this is a very important thing for the by default instance and if you suppose to change the instance name then you can select the name instance so uh, click on the next then in the next window server configuration basically uh, the SQL server agent uh, the by default it is a startup uh, type is a manual so you can take uh, change it to automatic so same way for the analytical services then SQL server browser you can uh, start up type as a automatic 
if required password you can insert the password otherwise you can click on the next so next uh, basically the collection so database engine collection and analysis services if you required you can change otherwise you can click on next so basically this is the very important uh, thing database engine configuration so basically uh, it is a by default windows authentication mode so you can change it to the mixed mode sql server authentication by selecting the second option and basically this is the sa account password so sa is the administrator permissions so you can uh, uh, create a password for that you can enter password and after that you can confirm the password for the sa account so uh, after that uh, you need to add current user so for that you can click uh, on uh, the button and you can select the particular uh, user if you if you selected my default admin uh, user after that uh, we need to check the, the data dictionary if suppose uh, we want to change the dictionary path then you can change from here uh, in my case i am keep at as it is so after that i click on the next so basically uh, uh, it will be summary which uh, whatever we selected the features and uh, the requirement based on that uh, the next installation will going on so around it will take uh, five five minute so i am skipping some part in between so it will uh, the installing the whatever the requirement component once it uh, install we will get the installation successful message and we will get the green tick mark so we can check the log status as well after that click on close so we have already successfully installed sql server 2022 for a, for check uh, the detail you can click on startup and uh, check the sql server 2022 so uh, this way we have installed so next part we will move for the sql server management studio so basically management studio is useful for the interacting with the database so it is a very useful uh, platform where developer can interact uh, with the database directly so for that uh, you can go for the microsoft website Uh, and you can download the ssms so it will be latest updated ssms 20.2 so just download and uh, after that you can run in the administrator mode once you click on that the new interface will open so it will automatically get the started for the whatever the required packages so around it will be take also the 5 5 minute so this setup once completed then it will ask for the restart or you can close so in my case i will restart later so uh, now i close this the sql server management studio for the for the for once i click on that i will get this window so in that basically this is a login window so i will login with windows authentication mode so this is a new feature connection security if we select the encryption type is a mandatory then you need to select trust server certificate so it will be mandatory in uh, the new update so once you select that one you will able to now log in to the sql server so for the check the new query and we simply uh, run the query for the checking the version of this sql server so i run the query like select at the rate at the rate version and i will execute this query so i will get the current version of this sql server so we will get the 2022 thank you friends for the watching this video uh, like the video please share and subscribe to the my channel thank you